So as you already saw in the thumbnail and the title of the video, today I'm going to share you the story of my cousin's wedding. This cousin is actually a very close cousin that I have. She is almost like a sister. She's in between my sister and I. So she's three years younger than me and one year older to my sister. She was brought up in Muscat till her 12th and for the graduation, she came down to Bangalore. And ever since she's visiting our house so often and sometimes also living inside our house that it feels like she's more like a sister and less like a cousin. And even when she came down from Muscat to India all through the childhood, she only had time to spend in her Anagakha's house and nowhere else. She would spend all the summer and winter vacations in my house and that's why we've grown up together and we've grown really close ever since she moved to Bangalore. I am not so keen on makeup and she is a very makeup enthusiastic person and that's why in my wedding, she was my makeup artist. I didn't hire any professional makeup artist. In return, she wanted me and my wedding planning expertise to come on table for her wedding. So this wedding, I was running around as a wedding planner, as a bridesmaid and also I was the driver for the family too. It was a very, very tiring experience but super fulfilling as well. I saw my sister get married to her best friend. It was super beautiful. She's the bride, she's my sister, she's the other cousin. We're all headed to the salon. Underarms are very hard. I'm going to get a pedicure manicure. I'm going to get a facial. Okay, okay, huh? I think I'll get a Raga pedicure and manicure. Yeah. Ashley, what are you doing in the salon? Finishing GST workings. Uh, are you, do you enjoy your job? I'm glad. We were supposed to go to the spa at around 2 right after lunch but we got late because of some running around to do and 4 cousins and 4 hours that's all we had at the spa along with the bride itself so I decided to skip my pedicure and we got home. It's 12.15 am and the bride is packing her bridal stuff. This is all we have, it's just this much. Culturally, we don't have a mehendi ceremony, so we chose to get our mehendi done in pajamas and 90s and not in like expensive lehengas. Meanwhile, the men of the house were put to work. Call for my phone and ask her now only what time she's coming tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Give me the phone. Huh? <laughs> what all that to do? Mm -hmm. I do know. Wait, wait. Have some patience.
vlogging. Yeah, vlogging. <laughs> Feature me. Yes. <laughs> Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Mehendi day was really really long for the rest of them because they got beautiful big long nice intricate designs done but I am not somebody that's very excited and enthusiastic about Mehendi but I got a small mandala done and an Arabic design on the other hand done just because I didn't want to feel FOMO <laughs> and uh, i my mehndi is already gone by the way because i procrastinated on this intro for a week i was really tired so i didn't feel like shooting at all and the next day which is the 9th was the previous day of the wedding day itself and we just had like a warm family get together and a small puja no fancy sangeets no expensive receptions at all started the day with counting the number of footways that were lined up in front of the main door of at my ajji money and then the number of bags that made no space left to enter the house hello girls like i mean i don't have foundation in my shape so i would rather not and i'm sorry i didn't bring aloe vera gel hello bye like i did did you okay good job okay so we should go right here Fifteen to nineteen of us and five cars with so many baggages. We headed to the wedding venue. Oh, by the way, the four of us girls, we were in one car, and guess what happened? We literally forgot the turn that we had to take. Should I say I forgot because I was the one who was supposed to know the routes? So yeah, I forgot, and we kind of drove for about five to ten kilometers ahead, and then I realized that something is fishy. I think we missed the turn, and then we checked on the maps, and then yeah, that happened. So this is our wedding venue. We're waiting for the decorators to come. Listen, if you put anyone, no, you have to uh, put the Instagram handle in this. Hmm. Excuse me. Fil kala. What does pitara mean? But it's a nice name. I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, but it definitely means something. Very Indian, but like. Adi, I want to know how you're feeling. Fine on. Hey. Basically, come on, let me give to the guests after yeah. the wedding is done. Put some coconut. So it's a bag which has coconut, pillow, uh, sleeve, uh -huh. betel nut, like betel leaf, uh, sometimes money, and the kumkum are in a packet. So it's a you have to do like one fold line. Of like each person is move the bag. Hmm. I love that. Why do you think I agree to this? Why? Because I like doing something like, like an assembly line. Assembly line. line.
But the god stuff is just alright. After like a ton of running around, we slept at 1 a.m. types, put on a nice sheet mask and all, and we slept at 1 a.m. And I got a call from the makeup artist at 2.10 and it's about 2.30 now. So this is me running through the day with just one hour of sleep. But the best part, the decor has come out so, so beautifully well. It's still a work in progress, but okay. I'm um, just waiting to see how this entire thing will look during the day because this is still midnight but, and midnight for midnight it's looking so beautiful right? While all of this was happening, in my head I was constantly rethinking about my wedding because my wedding too happened in the same venue, I got ready in the same room. So yeah, the flashbacks were kind of happening in my head. It was the time for the bride to enter in and of course during my time as well my grandpa brought me to the wedding mantapa and my cousin was also brought by my grandpa and as a bride I felt that I was a bride and oh my god it's happening only at this point I was constantly thinking that probably it's sinking in in my cousin's head also that she is now the bride like the ultimate day that we had planned for almost 10 months. not actually a part of our culture but it is a part of the groom's side and hence this was something very new for us to watch and super fun as well. So our sister is now also a wife. I ended the vlog at this but of course the day ended much much later we changed into something more comfortable we had our lunch we packed what felt like the entire universe and then checked out to the venue and we also had another day of pujas and stuff like that at the groom's house and so yes it was a very very fun and a long uh, week that we had in the last week and i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the bell icon as well and uh, stay tuned to my channel because I have to unwind from this 
extremely tiring thing that we went through. I am going to upload a weekend getaway video soon because we're going on a weekend getaway soon. So keep watching my channel and thank you so much for all your love. Bye bye. Bride is carrying her. Stop. Saku. Okay. Saka.